It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace, the goddess. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the Old Ones placed it in the care of the Goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands, the Goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of Earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. It's time. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. For those that don't know, this is the very first game in the Zelda timeline, so if you've been intimidated from getting into the Zelda series before because this game that you heard was really good is a sequel to something that came out 20 years ago, or there's some companion game you gotta play to be able to enjoy whatever you heard was good, this one, don't have to worry about that at all. You can just jump right in without a care in the world and without being lost on what's going on in the series. Now, I do want to address that I am aware that this game gets a lot of hostility from a lot of different corners of the internet, and I have not been shy in saying over the years that I'm a bigger fan of this game than most people. I totally understand if this game was not your cup of tea and you're a Zelda fan. It is a very different game. It doesn't have a lot of the things that people have come to love and expect from the Zelda series, and instead does things a lot differently. However, I think it does fix a lot of things that people wanted fixed with 3D Zelda games for a very long time, and it doesn't really get a lot of credit for doing this. What I'm here to do today is show you what I see when I play Skyward Sword. I have a lot of just general knowledge, a lot of fun things that I do in playing the game, a lot of general tips, and I hope that maybe I can encourage you to pick up the game again if maybe it wasn't your cup of tea the first time around. But I don't really want to spoil too much. I want to show it to you in a new light. So let's jump right in. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.
Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken, Link. Hi. <laughs> Man, some great destiny that found us, right? <laughs> hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Um, no. It might actually be afternoon, so you're not actually right. Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. She's got some spunk and sass to her. We got a places to be. We can't be a cozy and snug up here in our bachelor pad for much longer. Here at the Knight Academy. Should give you an idea of what Link is doing with his life and just kind of what... Well, I guess I kind of already said what he's doing, though. But yeah, should give you a general idea of what's going on. But before we go out, I am going to check my dresser. Not to get a comb to get rid of the bedhead that I so desperately need to get rid of, but to get my lavish life savings of five rupees. We can drop that into our wallet. And I want to check my dresser a second time because this is really stupid. There's nothing useful in here. You're telling me that an adorable little bobblehead of a loft wing that I totally wish Nintendo would make real merchandise of is not useful. You're telling me that my manly new purse is not useful. And you're telling me that a wooden sword when I'm completely unarmed is not useful. I mean, I guess there's, like, books in there, too, or something like that, though. But this is Night Academy. If I wanted to learn how to read, I'd go to real school. I'm here to learn how to run around and hit stuff, damn it. That's what's important in life. Let's go out this way, and I want to talk to you. First one that we see. Yeah. Morning, Link. So, today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is that everyone else is not practicing in the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. I'm just that darn ready. You don't understand. Of course, that Crimson Loft Wing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that Red Terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Pippet, pip pip, cheerio, jolly good. I'm so happy that you are loaning me your expertise and guidance, yes. All right, let's talk to you as well. Hey, Link, the day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. Times three combo. Everyone feels the need to tell me that. Today, we're going to put our skills to use that he and instructor Horwell have taught us. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using C? Yes. We can go into first person mode if we want to take a look closer look at our surroundings. And this is a godsend. We can press the down we can press down on the D-pad at any moment to recenter the pointer controls. One of my biggest grievances with any Wii game that has pointer controls is that you have to be sitting in a position so that the Wii Remote's camera can see the infrared sensor on your TV. Not so here. My controller is under a desk right now. I can get as comfortable as I want, get in any pose that I want, and if things ever get out of alignment or I want to change how I'm sitting, I just press down to recenter it. No nothing to fuss with, none of that. Doesn't suffer from that problem whatsoever. Now, I'm gonna go up this way. Link! You're gonna tell me I can't. If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way out the door is on the ground floor. Exit on the top floor is locked, so obviously you can't get out there. What's oh, taking that lunch lady so long? I'm gonna have a word with her later. I don't know what that has to do with anything you were saying, though, but I guess we'll have a word with her later if you don't beat us to it first. While we're going over here, I can show that you can hold A to run marginally faster than you normally do, but you can press, or press, shake the nunchuck to be able to roll, and that's the kind of speed that you want. I wanted to show that you can talk to this person up here that you might not have known was here. So uh, there's our times four combo. Just think if you win today, you'll become a senior like us, and you'll be a very big step close to graduating as a knight. You'll even get a knight's uniform like I'm wearing. So Something tells me you'll look pretty handsome in it, but still not as dreamy as him. Mmm, I know how this goes. I smell a late game side quest that's gonna have us prying into your personal life and getting you together with a guy whether you're ready or not. I know how these things go and I'm a sucker for him. I can't wait. 
So we're one step closer to the door that we need to go through to get outside. A very long-winded way of just saying the front door. Wow. <laughs> Been a while. Uh, let's talk to you. Good morning, Link. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I, I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Link, but I, I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. He's stuck here moving these barrels. Well, you know what? I am just such a good buddy to you, and you're clearly such a big fan of mine that I am going to shamelessly show off to you that I can lift this not only off the ground, but over my head. No problem, buddy. Anything for a pal. <laughs> really? Thanks. Uh, okay, so uh, I need you to carry one of these barrels over to the old lady who works in the kitchen. Press A to pick a barrel, then press A again to put it down at your feet. If you hold the Wii Remote up and swing it, you can throw whatever you're carrying. You can also roll small items like pots by holding the Wii Remote down and swinging it. But we'll get in huge trouble if any of these barrels break, so don't even think about throwing them or rolling them. If you forget any of this, just press 2. So that'll bring up a quick little menu that'll show you all the actions available to you right now. If you haven't played in a while and you don't remember exactly how everything works, it'll tell you. So there's no you having to flail the controller around in hopes of making something happen. You can just press 2 and it'll tell you exactly what to do. We carry this over this way, and as you can see, similar to how I was running and rolling, we have a stamina gauge that pops up if we're carrying heavy objects as well. Similar to the magic meter in other Zeldas, that's just your juice that determines how capable you are of doing things before you need to reload on said juice. And that's a really gross way of saying that. Wow. Didn't think before I spoke. Some things never change. And you! You are that lunch lady who was too late! I must punish thee in the name of Pippet! What do you think you're doing?! You better clean that up! Uh, I'm sorry, lady. Uh, that blow to the head must have been really intense if you think the room is a mess because the barrel actually just disintegrated after impact. But, uh, okay. Um, I, I, I feel too guilty not helping out Pippet after how nice he was to us, though. So, you know what? I'm gonna take this other barrel the way I'm supposed to. What's all this? I thought I told Fledge to carry that. Bah! It's probably for the best. That skinny boy would probably have gotten flattened. You mean like you did about five minutes ago? <laughs> Say, don't you have some important ceremony or some such today? Hmm. Well, thanks for the help. Man, that... I am so sorry, lady. That blow to the head must have been really intense. You're thanking me and acting like nothing happened? Uh, wow. Uh, I might have done some irreparable damage. Uh, that was a huge help, Link. I know it's not much, but here's half of the pay the old lady offered me to do that. We get for our troubles 20 rupees! Already have 25 before even stepping out the door! We'll be able to get Zelda a very nice present so that she'll just conveniently forget that we were this late. I have to hang back and watch the academy today. Good luck with the ceremony, Link. Um, and also, good luck dealing with that lady, Fledge. Uh, I need to get out of here before they suspect me of anything. You'll take the heat for me, right? Thanks, buddy. Bye! And here is the world that we're in in this adventure. Welcome to Skyloft. All that beautiful scenery, and we're not even going that way at all. Well, okay, we are going the way that it showed right at the very end there, though, but still. The gate's locked. We can't actually go that way. Hey, hey Link! Up here! Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? And everyone's job is just to tell me about this. You know, maybe it's actually good that I damaged the lunch lady's head. She probably would have reminded me, too, if she could remember that today was the wing ceremony. I was able to break the combo this way. So he's telling us that we can hold Z and press A to target things from far away and talk to, well, things that happen to be capable of talking from far away, but this is helpful in a lot of different situations. When you target someone with Z, you can talk to him or her. And even when there isn't anything to target, pressing Z is a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but this is a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? You should be able to climb if you dash up into the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Move while holding A to dash, you should be able to make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. And thankfully, when you are outdoors, your running speed is not that laughably weak like it is indoors. You can vault up things, you can climb up walls, you can do all kinds of stuff. Using A to dash is very useful indeed, contrary to what the very beginning would have you think. But it does come at the cost of stamina gauge, and if it runs out, we'll be completely out of breath, leaving us vulnerable for a little while. So, you do have to be mindful in how often you are using it. We can also jump short distance like this with auto jump by just running to a ledge that is uh, has a gap in between it and another ledge. So there we go. And anytime somebody has this dot 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 thing over their head, they're not face palming at how stupid you are. It actually means they have something new to tell you, so make sure to talk to them. So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link? Oh, you have someone to meet. 
Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Kepora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she's scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start, and I just put a fresh set of clothes, and well, you see, you don't want to get your clothes dirty, so you'd rather make me go do it, even though I'm competing in said ceremony, and I'm not even ready yet. Thanks, pal, really appreciate it. Now, this guy, he's Instructor Horwell. The teacher that we saw inside is Instructor Olin. I need to tell you that on my first playthrough, I thought him and the other guy were the same person. No, not because racism, because they are twins, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I really just thought that him saying that he just changed into a fresh set of clothes meant that it was the guy that we just saw indoors, but he changed clothes and I went a good long while not knowing that they were the same person. Oh, man, also whenever we're climbing on things, we can flick the Wii remote to be able to go faster, but that comes at the cost of greater stamina. I don't care how good a jumper you think you are, you'll never reach a roof that high by just pressing A to dash. So when pressing A is not enough, you approach a wooden box, you press A, and you press up on the control stick to push it. Yes! We set that up. We can, uh, excuse me, we can vault up the box. We can vault up the road. I don't even know if vault is the correct word. And, uh, yeah. Little cats sleeping on roofs. It's what they always like to do. And, um, you know, I kind of like being a dirty boy. Link! You still don't get it! Uh... We don't need to inform the headmaster of this, do we? <laughs> okay, we'll we'll uh we'll give her to you. Nice work. You brought her back safe and so As soon as she saw him, she just like leapt out of my hands. I didn't even press the button there. Gee, I wonder why she didn't want to be with me. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy. I suppose I should feed Mia now. With yet another distraction under our belt, we will tell the headmaster that his pet is okay. At least physically, not so much mentally after that. <laughs> I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Yes, yes, yes. You don't even give us... I was hoping for 50 rupees that time around. And... Oh my god. I found Elvis! He's living on a hunk of rock in the sky! Somebody inform the tabloids. I'm sure one of them will publish it. Uh... No, I did not know that there was a ceremony going on today. Good thing Elvis was alive here to tell me that, otherwise I wouldn't have known. Also, the gate's broken, so we can't go through this way either, so we have to go north. Have you forgotten to send your purse to the gods this morning, have you? If there is a bird statue, we are able to save our progress, so you are limited in when and where you are able to save. Make a habit of doing that. I'm personally not going to be doing that because, well, it's a recording, and if it fails, it's kind of bad. This is a stamina fruit. If we are running, we are able to replenish our stamina instantly. We don't have to, like, do anything to eat it or anything like that. It's just instantaneous, as you see right here. A lot of different mechanics all being introduced, but at long last, we are finally here. I swear it wasn't my fault, Zelda. It was the tutorials. They come at you from out of nowhere, and they never shut up. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but yeah, we're here. Hey, good morning, Link. You're a lot more cheery than I thought you were going to be, given how long we took. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument. And look at this outfit. They're mine to use today at the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Father about it. And he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm gonna make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. So, how do I look? Uh, I can't do it. I swear I'll be mean to the next guy I see, okay? <laughs> I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Link. Ooh. 
Oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, uh, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just been lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his loft wing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Link and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Aw, oh, shucks, it weren't nothing. Do you recall when Link and that loft wing first met? What a sight! The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Woohoo! This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those trying to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you've become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Here we are. Go on, jump off the edge and call your laugh wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go. Hey. Okay, Link, go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. Man, Zelda is so awesome. I don't even mind not getting to play as her. Just in recent games, man, she is amazing. She does such cool stuff. She's heck, she's our hero in this situation. Like, come on. She is not like a helpless damsel or anything like that. She's amazing. I love her. Ooh. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master. It's unheard of! And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? 
This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your left wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You'd better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. Hi, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Inspector Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks Inspector Horwell, I'll probably just come talk to you about it. <laughs> ah, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I shall explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Inspector Horwell to come see me in my quarters. I'm sorry, but just look at the size of his eyebrows! Those things are glorious! There are some amazing eyebrows in Nintendo, but man, inspe <laughs> Inspector, no, not Inspector. Headmaster Kebora has got the most glorious ones I've seen in a very long time. So I've been given our first objective. Things are getting a little bit more adventurous. I will say that this is off to a bit of a slow start, so I am trying to like keep things going and all that good stuff. You, my friend, I need to talk to you. Yes, uh, I think I would. anyone would look pale after the harrowing experience that I went through. I can't find my loft wing and you seem to be completely ignoring- Oh, it looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not you can find that bird on time! <laughs> Ahem, excuse me. <laughs> I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. Yes, you have finally listened to me. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Darn good thing we helped him out! And- Wait, does he- He has like that cat, like, on the pattern on his- crotch. Okay, I, I know it's supposed to be like a belt or whatever the belt-like thing on a kimono is. I'm sorry. I don't know the actual term. I don't really know what I'm talking about, and I always make a fool out of myself for doing so, and kid, just because Granny got a concussion doesn't mean it's now the cool hip thing to do. You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, okay, so you want me to roll in the tree with you. Um, if I do it once, will you stop trying to give yourself a concussion, okay? It is not the new fad that I am trying to start. Don't be like me. Whoa! You did it! A Sky Stag Beetle! Wait up! Okay, you found something else shiny. And another blue rupee bops onto our head. Nice. Grab another stamina fruit, and let's go out into the main square. We heard some students were out here practicing. We'll see if maybe they know anything. What do you think? Is it going the wing ceremony? Yes, yes, yes! The wing ceremony is about to begin! Yeah, Pippet won a lot! Uh. Hey, your Crimson Laughing will be in the race, right? I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Thanks, buddy! Big help! Didn't know the wing ceremony was going on from everyone else in this godforsaken town! Let's see if these guys will help us. <laughs> you know, Groose, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> Course it was! You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be, he's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa! Uh, Link! So, uh, yeah, just how long you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please! You're just so desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and just got lost? Nice hair! Been waiting to use this one! I was so glad Headmaster Kepora wasn't the one to give me a choice right after I said I'd be a jerk to the next guy. You lay off my due right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal! Doesn't change the fact that you flew through life with your head in the clouds. 
Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? <laughs> oh. Zelda, hey, nah, it's, uh... Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, uh, I suppose... You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you... <laughs> <laughs> Forget it! I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys! Later, Link! Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race! That could be a major setback toward knighthood. So find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Man, he didn't even look when he jumped off the cliff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta give him points for style on that one. Yeah, I hate to say it too, Zelda, but I'm beginning to think those blockheads did something to your lo with your Loftwing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Zelda's taken to the skies? I guess we gotta take the... Well, I would say ground, but this isn't exactly the ground now, is it? <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna go around town, see if we can find any trace of our bird whatsoever. You over here, uh, Zelda's in the skies, so I can call you the pretty lady like I see you, yeah. Uh, let's see, usual Crimson Loftwing, have I seen him? Sorry, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the Statue of the Goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Even though we were just there and we didn't think that... Man, sick bird. She was just like, hey, press plus to look at your map so you don't have to avoid getting lost again. Remember that. The map is actually quite helpful. Very detailed. You can zoom in. You can see a lot of little things on the map. It is actually one of the more useful maps throughout the entire Zelda series. I didn't think I was out of stamina because I didn't look at it before I paused. I got a heart that would recover my health if I had taken any damage, but as it stands, it's an unnecessary text box, so I don't need that. Let's move this box. And now that that's in position, we get a nice easy shortcut back up to the Statue of the Goddess. Looks like Elvis finished fixing the gate. <laughs> what a profession for him to get after his glory days. So we'll head up this way and... Hey, Link! You just love calling out to me from far away, don't you? I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here! And we can just hop right off of this ledge, make it quick, roll right over, and get lots of style points. Gotta catch up to Groose somehow. <laughs> hey, Link, I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out I had told you... It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. I like how he's just explaining it for him and then telling him to tell us. <laughs> just a little while ago. Is it all wrong? Just a little while ago when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean. Quick, let's take a look at your map. Like I said, your map is actually quite helpful. He's drawn a red X showing where our objective is, where we can go to be able to find said bird. Only waterfall in all of Skyloft, so it's gotta be there. You know how to read a map, right? Press plus at any time. Uh, yes, 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 we've heard all this already. Uh. Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. One more thing, Link. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember there are some dangerous things there. Creepy crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. Meaning I gotta go back to my dresser, right? Uh, no. We need to go into the sparring hall and ask him, ask the master of the sparring hall if we can borrow the sword. Clearly, even though we already have one. So let's go on in here. 
And now we're finally gonna get into some sword play. Presumably, unless we have to do some kind of favor for you that nets us 20 rupees. Yes, we want to get in some sword practice. It, we don't really have a whole lot of a choice. Sword is in the back room. Go back there and get it. I'll be here for a while. Since I don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Let's do just that. Here it comes. Our first time seeing this. You got a sword. Our practice sword, no less. It's fairly sharp, but it's not overly all that strong. At least it's something that we can use to defend ourselves with. Now, let's get in a little bit of practice with the sword before we totally go off on our way. So, yeah, I want to show you all the different things that you can do with the sword, as the main selling point of Skyward Sword is one-to-one -one sword control. This is something that is very controversial. Some people think it's very fun, other people don't think it's fun at all, some people don't really get what they're supposed to do, but I'm here to show you what I know. So we can press Z to target an enemy, just like we can when we're talking to somebody. We're gonna get in some good practice on the logs. If we don't, um... It doesn't respond quite how we want to. We can do a big vertical overhead practice swings in front of you to get a, uh, then get back into the action. That'll recalibrate things. So if we just slice up all the logs, I'll set up so we can try out a big move. Okay. So there are two parts to every sword slash. There is a setup and then a swing. So I need to be over here if I want to swing in the opposite direction. Just simply flinging that way won't work. So I do a horizontal slice there. Here we can do a vertical slice. Slice that in two. If we thrust forward, we can, ahem, do a stab. If I were to swing at this log, it would start rotating instead, so it does follow physics. We can do diagonal slices the other way. And here's another stab right in the eye. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You'll make this instructor proud. Are you ready for to try a spin attack? Oh, I've never been more ready in my whole entire life. No charging magic, no special technique, no any of that. We can cut all the logs from this one spot, and we swing the Wii Remote and Nunchuck simultaneously. So let's do it! Good one! That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Yes, this is yet another technique. When an enemy is down, target it with Z and swing the rear mount and uncheck at the same time to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing off with this technique. <laughs> try finishing off that log. That's kind of funny. Hoi! Boom! That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield, or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy off its back. This is where I'd use my shield, if I had one. <laughs> okay, well, that gets us into the basics of sword play. We have figured out the whereabouts of our loft wing. We've been given our first major objective, and, uh, well, this is awkward. Uh, I kind of need it to be able to do the things that I need to do that I was just saying. Yeah, I need to go look for my loft wing. Uh, thank you for making an exception for me and letting me go out carrying a weapon. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. I've already done that. I don't need to practice again. Thank you very much. Okay. So we got things going. We met lots of colorful characters all around Skyloft. Goose for best character, am I right? <laughs> We got a clue to the whereabouts of where our loft wing might be, and we also got dun, 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 our sword so that we may start heading out that way and got a taste for the very bare basics of sword combat. There are a lot of other tips and tricks that I will have to teach you, but those are the very basics, and I wanted to get some time in with the sword before we end things off. But next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we head out toward that waterfall and hopefully find our loft wing in time for the bird race so that we can become one step closer to becoming a knight. See you guys then.